hello, my friends. How's it going? It's about that time. We're gonna get back to some Hollow Knight tonight. Hello! How you all doing? <clears throat> How's your guys' week been so far? Or week, I guess, so far, the week is done. We're at the weekend, thank the Lord. Um, halfway through October, how, how are people feeling? Uh, spooked out yet? Or is the spook still going strong? Is the speak, has the spook only just began? That's the real question. Does, in your opinion, would you say that the spook builds up to, to Halloween? Or does, like, is it equally distributed? Or? I think it builds up. You think it builds up? That's fair. I think that's a fair assessment. I guess it's, Halloween's kind of like Christmas, even though it's not in the middle of the month. Yeah, like what? It's not like it's not like Christmas. Where like, how do you how do you feel once Christmas? Because Christmas is like not at the end end. It's like a week before the end. How do you how do you feel during that week of like after Christmas, but it's still December? It's like a fever dream a little bit. Yeah, I guess it does kind of lead up to New Year's. Yeah, it's like a fever dream of like leftovers and and like enjoying your presence until New Year's where you get blackout drunk. Unless you're, Unless you're a child, don't get don't get blackout drunk as a child. Um Oh. <laughs> okay. We're going to uh get back into some Hollow Knight. Since I just beat the Path of Pain, um we should we should be able to get through the rest of the White Palace pretty easily. Um, so, so, so we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. I'm hoping it'll be pretty easy. But then again, I haven't touched the game for like a week, so. All I know is that now I'm a platforming god and I can uh, pogo pretty well. Yeah, I feel real nimble. Real nimble, you see? Oh god. Wait, hold on. Oh, nope. Nope! <laughs> okay. God fucking damn it. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh shit, there's a bench already? I, I kind of like this bench though. I kind of want to draw it. I don't know, sometimes I see these bench scenes and I'm just like, hot damn. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I'll just draw a collection of those bench pictures. I don't know, maybe not quite the same, but just like different characters and like different knight poses, I guess, would be cool. Did you say, do I literally have to talk to a child? Scoopy scoopy! Nope. Yeah. Link is pretty- yeah, Link is the Edward Cullen of, of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Okay, where the fuck do I go now? Oh, okay. Yoinks. Yoinks! Yeah, this is easy peasy. No, fuck! This is mostly easy peasy. Fuck! Why did I do that? <laughs> okay. No! <laughs> oh, jeez. 
Okay, so... Alright. Whoop! Whoop! Alright. Oh, why? Okay, so maybe I just need to do this. Dash too late. Okay, I need I need to stop. I need to stop going too hard. Okay. Hesitated. Oh! I feel like I'm going pretty. I'm. I feel like I'm making a lot more progress faster than I did uh, before. God damn it! Although that that will be all for naught if I just die. God fucking damn it. I need to jump away fast enough. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. God, shit. So... Okay. So how the fuck do I... Oh, okay. There we go. Point. Um... Nice. Yeah, this, this... I think this will be pretty easy. I could be forgetting, like, a super hard part, but... Overall, it doesn't seem too bad. There we go. No, I was too low! Hello! Hello, child! Ah! Too low again. Thanks for the subscription. Sub the subscript. Subscript. Oh, I just realized that the uh, sub subscribe has the word scrib in it. That should be that should be the new subscription picture. It should be uh it should be a scrib and a scrib sound. And then capitalize the script. Thanks, thanks for that idea. Dang it. For those that don't know, scripts are for Morrowind. I love scripts. Sub! It's me. <laughs> What'd you say? This is, uh, I, this actually gives me something when I finish it. Yeah. No! Okay. What's... What's your secret? Oh, okay, that's the secret.
What a good secret that is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no! I overshot. I overshit my shot. I overshit my shot. Gay bits! Thanks for the gay bits. Oh. oh shit. No! Damn it. Iconic. Yeah. <laughs> I it that that was that was hilarious. <laughs> How do I how do I do this here? No! Okay. I gotta get the dash distance right. Oh, I got it. <laughs> okay, so how the fuck? No! Okay, I don't know how to get through that one. <clears throat> this one's just about all about timing. Nice. He almost died from tripping over my shoe. Oh yeah, speaking of shoes, this has nothing to do with shoes. Um, I played Slay the Spire last night. I, I forgot how good Slay the Spire is. I played it for a solid, like, two hours. Slay the Spire is very good, by the way. You should, you should play it. If you like card, card-based turn, or card, card-based turn-based. Curd based. Curd based combat. <laughs> you fight with cheese curds. Okay. Uh, I have no idea. Um. Oh, you know what? Nice. Okay. Okay. So there's a thing down there. Come on now. Ah! I need to land on one of those platforms. I dropped too late. Are you playing Crash Bandicoot? I forgot that you had the Crash Collection. Damn it! Ah! You don't know if you like love it. And it is a. Uh... It is kind of uncanny to see old games be remastered. Especially ones from like the the really wonky polygon era. At that point, you might as well just remake the thing. Ah! Okay, this one is also about timing. I mean, it's all about timing, but Okay. Nice. All right. Onward and upward. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's it's one of those. One of those things, eh? Too 
the stank. Oh no! I did. What is Poopa Stank mean? Is it? Poopa Stank is a band, apparently. Really? Weird. Okay, so how the fuck? Okay, that's how the fuck. Ooh, I remember this part a little bit. What? Ooh, okay. I get it. Oh jeez, no, that was not where I was supposed to go. God damn it, and it put me all the way back here. I can get juice from this boy. Just don't mind me, juicing my boy. God, this must be painful for him. I mean, I don't know. Is this a construct? Or is it like an actual bug, bug boy. Oh no. Oh no. What? What? Okay, so I'm supposed to do that. Nope. Okay, wait, yeah. Oh Jesus! I hate this. Okay. Nice. Doop, doop, doop. Oh no! Yeah, Crash Bandicoot is very surprisingly similar to Temple Run. Really? Wait, am I done? Did I finish it? I did finish it. Maybe? Yeah, that was way easier than I thought it would be. Land. Yep, it was pretty much a breeze, so no cost too great. Oh damn. We just <laughs> we did not give a shit. We were just like bam! Smack him around. Okay, well, we got the King Soul, so now we need to go back down to the Abyss, get the uh, Void Soul, and then we can fight Radiance. Soul of Worm, Soul of Root, Heart of Void. So yeah, we need to go back down to the Abyss. So let's go grab our... Let's go take a seat. Take a seat! Oh, there's no bench over here. Damn, I didn't know that. Uh, God, it feels like so long since I've looked at looked at a map. Wait, it says there's supposed to be. Okay, yeah, the bench is on the other side. All right. Um, we don't need high blood anymore. Be da dee da be dee do bo. Be da dee dee bo. White blood core. And mark of pride. Nice. Alright, 
so I think we can just go straight down. Yeah. Yeah. God, it feels so nice to be out of the White Palace. <laughs> Platforming is not, honestly, my favorite part of Hollow Knight. I mean, I do like the feeling of moving. I, I guess really hard platforming is not my favorite. It's incredibly stress stressful. <laughs> okay, so I imagine we just go straight old, straight old down. Alright, so where do we go to do the thing, thing the bobble? I think over here, it can't be the way because this is where we upgrade our screamy. At least I don't think. I think it might be like a secret area. Definitely not here. So it's probably somewhere to the right then. Oh no! No! Yeah, I don't think this is... Weird. I could have swore, maybe, maybe it's, no. maybe I'm missing something. Void soul. So, we go to the abyss. Oh, we need to have King Soul equipped. Duh. Uh, I don't want to do all that platforming to get back up. I'm going to just go back. I also think we can get to the Grim Troop here soon. Uh, let's see. What am I gonna have to replace? Oh, wow. We need to sacrifice maybe a little bit more. I guess we could take off Dash Master if we need to. Let's try that. Nice. And then we'll just head back down. And then it should open the way for us. Ah, I've been playing Xbox 3. I've been playing Xbox uh, or games that use the Microsoft controller layout lately, so... It always takes me a few seconds to switch between X and Y and B and A. Because I was playing Slay the Spire last night, 
and uh, the Y button is uh, the button that you do to end your turn. Um, and I kept trying to pl press the X button, and if you don't know, they're swapped on the Nintendo controller for whatever fucking reason. So um, I kept pressing end my turn before <laughs> before I had done the things that I wanted to do. It was really lame. Okay. Now this should be pretty easy, and then once we get this, we can officially go fight the Hollow Knight. Um, there's no guarantee that we'll beat Radiance. We'll probably have to... Our next mission after that is going to be... Um, finding the Grim Troop, because that unlocks um, upgrading some of our... Um, getting the more powerful versions of some of our charms. Okay. Nice. This place is real spooky. So this is the place where the Hollow Knight was born, or where I guess the Hollow Knight and the knight that we play was born. I just wonder where the Hollow Knight came, or where this knight came from. I guess I haven't really looked too much into the lore of this exact knight. It always just tells you about, like, the Hollow Knight. Oh yeah, I forgot Black Friday's a thing. Best time doing their No cost too great. Oh, I just I was just asking the origin. <laughs> And it's telling me right now. Amazing. Interesting. No mind to think. So, I'm guessing the knight just left for whatever reason then. I suffering. Born of God and Void. Interesting. So the the Hollow Knights kind of kind of remind me of a uh, homunculi in a way. Oh shit. Damn. You shall seal the blinding light that plagues their dreams. You are the vessel. You are the Hollow Knight. 
Oh yeah, you you fill you he's hollow cuz you fill him with the with the you with your dreams. You fill him with dreams. <laughs> you fill him with light and dreams. Is the place falling apart now? Oh shit. Now they don't attack me anymore. Interesting. Well, now we can go fight the fight the dude, the titular boy. We need to explore all of the places that we haven't been though. Um, and I think we also need to. We should probably get Grebberfly's elegy. Where to next? So, where have we not gone? There's a place down there. And we can ride the tramway if we got all the way up. Yeah, I think we'll just do the tramway. I also think uh, from now on our shade doesn't attack us and we can um, kill it with one hit. So that'll make it a lot easier trying to recover this stuff. Half the game is just battling yourself to get your shit back. And now that I don't have to do that anymore, I'm glad. just gonna go fill out the places on the map that we haven't been to and then um, we're just gonna be wrapping up to prepare for the, pretty much from now until the Hollow Knight fight is us preparing to fight Radiance um, what does Void Soul do the charm oh okay it cannot be unequipped I forgot about that wait does that take does okay never mind I'm done. <laughs> Dash master, and then we'll do that. Cool. I can't believe I fell for that again. I always fall for it. Wait, this is not where I wanted to go. I needed to go up to the tram. What am I doing? I keep forgetting, I'm turning 25 in two weeks, by the way. I can't wait, to, uh, I, I don't think I'll stream on my birthday, but I'm, I'll, I'll definitely do like a birthday stream the weekend before. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll probably just play something that, like, I want to play, something that I've been wanting to play on stream. But also, Halloween is in, is in two weeks as well. I don't know what, what we'll do for that. I kind of, I almost kind of want to go to a bar for Halloween. Because they always have, it always feels like they have the good, good spooky times going on.
But I don't know, I don't have friends that would be throwing Halloween parties to go to, so... We could throw our own Halloween party, I guess. That might not be a half bad idea. Let's see. Oh god. I think that's the only thing I hate about Deep Nest is that it's constantly just loud. But I guess that's the point of like the unsettling nature of Deep Nest, is that it's just it it's both creepy and dark while also being like overstimulating in a way. Like just imagine imagine how stressed out you'd be if you were in a pitch black dark room, but like all around you was just like lots of grating noises and like it's just loud in general. I feel like a lot of times you could just like close your eyes in Hollow Knight and just imagine how awful it would be to exist in this world. <laughs> to exist as Bug Boy. Wait, where? How did I get into this room before? Is there a. Oh, okay, there we go. Nice. Oh, I know who we're fighting next. We're fighting uh, Nosk. I forgot the sec the section where uh, you see your uh, your doppelganger. Nosk is an okay fight, I guess. Get back here. Okay, yeah. Here we go. I don't think it'll be too bad, but, but let's see. I think I kind of remember the strategy. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh geez. Fuck. Sometimes you get unlucky, but... This should work. Oh boy. Christ almighty. Okay. Maybe I won't get the first try. He's rough. He just hits a lot. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> I do need to equip my uh my combat combat charms. Let's see. We don't need Dash Master, that's for sure. We don't need Gathering Swarm. I'll keep Wayward Compass just for convenience sake. I guess maybe Spell Twister? Now we'll do the Shaman Stone. Why not? Because I get the feeling that we'll be able to get some good use out of uh, the Shriek.
nice. Okay, those were th those were some good hits. Don't do a hit. I don't want you to stop jiggling your juice all over me. Oh god. Oh Christ. Oh boy. Come on. Come on, bud. Nice. Oh no. The juice! It's returned! Ah, no! Shit. Okay, that, w that wasn't too bad. <laughs> that took less attempts than I thought it was going to. Second try, cool. Pale ore. All right. How much? How many pale ore do we? I think we need three to get the last upgrade. Uh, oh, we only have one. So where are the other pale ores that we're missing? I think we get one for defeating. Okay, so that's the next place that we need to go. We need to go to the Coliseum of Fools. Let's see. Where else are we missing map segments? I'm not really seeing any. It looks like we've gotten pretty much everything. Yeah, honestly. Okay, uh... Maybe Coliseum of Fools. We'll go there first. Yeah, there's a lot less than I thought there were, was that I need to, uh... Still explore. Okay. All seen the fool's time. Best way to get there is through the resting rounds. Oh, you know what? Let's go visit uh, our worm, worm friends first. I haven't been down here uh, in a minute. So cute. <clears throat> and I think after Coliseum of Fools, that'll probably be our next objective is to get all of the grubs.
think the fastest way is just to, yeah, just to drop down here. What? 135. Plus the 75. Oh. Wow! Hopefully we don't have to give the Colosseum of Fools too many tries now that we've uh, got some got some solid upgrades. Dash, dash master. Um, I will definitely take. <clears throat> Joni's blessing would take up too much. Uh, let's try. I don't know. We do the shaman stone and see if we can just knock out enemies with spells. Let's try that first. I kind of want to see how the spell route will go. Usually I would go the... I would go the route of... Um, just giving myself as much health as possible. But, but let's see. What you got? Okay, that was a little too much damage. Wow, that that spell wrecked him. Very good. Very good. Come on. All right. What do we got next? Oh, God. Come on. Man. Poo poo water. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. What 
punya. Show me what you got. Bye bye. Oh god. Ah! Not this fucking thing. Nice. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh no, not easy peasy. I think Shaman Stone was the way to go, honestly. Oh no, it's wormy. Get out of here. Whoa, Jesus! Oh God! This isn't too bad. Slim surface pen. Okay, I could get down with that. Oh, 130 dollars. It's flat. That's weird. That's not what I wanted to do. To buy the charger separate. That's such a. That's such a troll. Okay, this this part is relatively easy. I can heal. Very predictable movements. Thank you so much. Oh god, there's even more! Okay. Not too bad, actually. Nice. What do we got now? Oh! Foldery boys! That wasn't too bad. Nice! Was that it? Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Epic. Was that the first try? I think that was my first try. I think? I don't know, I, I have bad memory. I was too focused. I was too too busy gaming to remember. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. So, we have two pale ore. We need to figure out the location of the third. Let's see. Pale ore locations. There's one at the very top of Crystal Peak that I'm not sure if we got. One given by the seer, found in Hollowness Crown at the very top of Crystal Peak, embedded in Pearl Soul, the Statue of the Radiance. 
Nosk Slayer given by the Grub Father when I get 31 grubs, which I think we've already gotten. Unless we only need... You know what? I think we only need two to get the next upgrade. I just started watching, and the first thing I see is NPCs throwing money at you. <laughs> okay, I think we just need to go... We're, we're, we're just gonna go check. We're gonna go figure it out. <clears throat> yeah, honestly, the Shaman Stone pick was top tier. I kind of want to keep wearing it. Alright, um, where do we go to... Where do we go? We need to go, go to the City of Tears. Wait. Uh, I think we're already near there, actually. Not near enough! I feel like, uh, God, I've forgotten his name already. I feel like Zote would very, do very well as a, uh, as like a Slavic man. Overconfident Slavic man. Wait, where am I going? Oh, why did I go down here? I need to go, I need to go to the tram. He just gives off very overconfident Russian man vibes. King Station, I think, would be the easiest. Yeah. And then, once we upgrade our sword, let's go see if we can find the Grim Troop, I guess. But I don't know, I'm feeling pretty confident that I could beat the Radiance, because uh, when I first when I first fought her, I was not confident at all. It felt in, like an impossible task that I was never going to do. But uh, I, think I, I think I got it. I could be regretting that statement, but 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 I think I think it'll be okay. Oh, you know what we didn't get? We didn't get the love key. There is another boss that we haven't fought. Let's also go sell the remainder of our our relics. I think we've gotten all the relics we can we can get. Velmi Arthrid. Yep, we got arcane eggs. Velmi an arcane egg, eh? Now this this is an ancient thing. These relics are the prize of my profession. There's knowledge hidden within, though it's very difficult, painstaking work to extract. Never taking fall damage would be another cool ability from this game to have. One large understanding can be gleaned, though. This civilization may claim itself the first, but something else did exist within this place before Hollow Nest. Each egg offers a narrow glimpse into that forgotten age. Velmi Arctrit. Velmi Another Arctrit. arcane egg. It's a rare chance to own two of these. I'll be the envy of all my colleagues, though my purse is feeling much lighter for it. These eggs are the most desired find from time before Hollow Nest, but they're not the only remnant of that age. You may have come upon them, those old statues that seem a store for soul. They too prove its existence, though in a larger, cruder form. Velmi Arthrid. What a third arcane egg. You're an exceptional explorer to have found so many. An egg is a perfect protective form. In Hollow Nest, we use stone journals or tablets, our text engraved atop. 
These eggs are far more secure. Their records are stored within. In fear of damaging the eggs, I'm only able to access the outer layer, but it's clear those in the distant past could somehow access information stored even deeper within. If only I could find a way to do so. Just think of the discoveries to be made. Helma Delka. Hm. Looks like you don't have any relics on you. Well, damn. I think that's all the relics that we'll find for a while. Let's go upgrade our sword. If you bring me... Ah, oh, I do need three pieces. Shit, so that means I'm missing one. I think the one I'm missing is at the top of Crystal Peak. At least I think. Let's see. We've definitely gotten the pale ore from the Grub Father. And there's no way that we haven't gotten the pale ore that's in the ancient basin. Yeah, the best thing that I could think is that the one in Crystal Peak is, for some reason, we just didn't pick it up. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, let's go check out. Did you see Sora made it into Smash Bros? I honestly never thought they'd let him because Disney, right? How many how many Nintendo employees do you think sacrificed their skull their their skull their souls to to King Mickey Mouse in the process that it took to get Sora into into Smash Brothers? I don't know. I feel like Nintendo and Disney are like almost on similar levels when it comes to level of. Uh, big corporations that are really protective over their IPs, so it kind of makes sense that they team up, in a way. Let's see. I think we can only... There's no trams or anything in Crystal Peak. We just have to make make the climb. It's the climb! God, they used to play that song on the radio every fucking day. Many, multiple times a day. I bet, I bet if you listened to public radio long enough, you'd probably still hear it at some point. It wouldn't take you too long, I don't think. on up. Oh shit, what's this? Shopkeeper's key. What does the shopkeeper's key open? All right. Presenting the key to Sly unlocks more of his wares. Okay, I guess... Interesting. I guess we never found that. I was wondering why- I could have swore that Sly sold more shit. Well, I guess we'll go check that out. I'm sure he has plenty of stuff that we've missed out on, and I've got plenty of Geo. I've got fat, fat pockets, fat wads of cash. I guess they wouldn't be fat- I mean, they wouldn't be fat wads 
how does one store Geo? Do they like, do they have a, a coin purse that they just like drop the stones in? I've got a handful of, a handful of cash. Oh, hey, there's actually, um, a couple paths above that we haven't, we haven't touched yet. mad if I went all the way through here just to find out that I did actually grab the Pale Ore. If that happens, I legitimately have no idea where the, the missing Pale Ore is. Unless it's, uh, unless I'm missing the one from the Grub Father. But I could have swore that I've unlocked at least 31 Grubs. radio is mostly ads nowadays from what I hear on my commute. Yeah. That that is the most glaring difference between radio and and streaming services is that there are a lot more ads. I mean, but then again, I do have Spotify Premium, so they do run ads, but at least they're kind of the same. Nowadays, public radio kind of feels like the same way that public television does. Where it's just like lots of fucking ads. You you kind of forget how many how many ads there there are on public television when you haven't watched a lot of it in a while. Oh fuck. God damn it. I got I gotta be careful. Holy fuck. Turn around. Turn around for me, big boy. All right. Yeah, I could have... I definitely got the pale ore that was up here. There's no way that I haven't. Yeah, I definitely did. So, like... Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So I've got to... It has to have been the... The grub fought. Let me see. Uh, let's, let's go back to Sly, see what he's selling first. find it in the old mines, perhaps. Very curious. I've no idea how it ended up in such a remote place. Very honest of you to return it to me. Yes, very kind. And now that I can open my old storeroom up, I can sell you some of the rare stock that's been gathering dust in there. These items may be a little time-worn, but they still retain their full market value. Very precious stuff. Take a look. Patamas, Jill. Elegant key. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll just yoink all this. Don't mind me. Does that that does not complete another mask, which means there are still three other mask fragments that we haven't gotten. <laughs> oh, he actually has more. Interesting. Yeah, I bet he has the last soul fragment. Oh no, never mind. He do be selling those mask shards, though. We just need one more. Or two more, I can't remember. 
Um, elegant key. What does that open? Elegant key, Hollow Knight. Open the locked door that holds the Shade Soul spell in Soul Sanctum in the City of Tears. Interesting. So it unlocks the room to the Shade Soul. Which looks like it is... Oh, actually, I've been in that room before. Or no, there, there's a door there that I haven't gotten to. But yeah. All right. Um, and then, let's see. Grub locations, Hollow Knight. So where do I get the love key? Love key, Hollow Knight. Found on a corpse in the southeast of the Queen's Gardens. Okay. So first, let's go to the Queen's Gardens. First objective. So we need to go... Here. And we need to go... Here. And then after that, the love key opens this door right here. Nice. Objectives, objectives. Down and over. Damn it. I think this is one of the few years that I haven't gone to see. Uh, this is random. I guess I didn't go last year either because it was COVID and I didn't think about it last year, but I haven't been to Rocky Horror in a long time. <laughs> Around Halloween, they usually have like a shadow, um, a shadow cast thing that they do, as do all college towns. They have a group of people that do the fucking Rocky Horror thing. Um, and they usually have a bar there and it's usually pretty fun. All the queers show up. It's pretty great. God damn it. I hate these motherfuckers. Get out of here. Leave me alone, okay? And this is why we couldn't go through. Whoa! Nice. Oh god, there's another one. Get out of here. I ain't got time for you. I remember my friends had me watch the Rocky Horror remake with them one year and they laughed at how confused I was by everything going on. I forgot there was a Rocky Horror remake. Who who's in the Rocky Horror remake? Hold on. Oh, what the 
Vera, Vera, Maklava, Maklava, book this. Him, bah, Deprada. All right. Up the night. Book this, bah, poor rock this, eh? And now we go to the city of tears. Can you read my comic? Nice. <laughs> I keep pressing B instead of A. Oh, actually, I do kind of. Re I remember the Rocky Horror remake now. It's all coming back to me. Did it had uh. <laughs> I forget her name. I think it was a black woman, though. I can't remember her name, though. I feel like... I don't think it was... I, I want to say Queen Latifah, but it, I don't know. I don't know if that's it. Okay, now I need to look it up. It was called the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Let's do the time warp again. No, it was Laverne Cox. Yep. Makes sense. Yep, it's all coming back to me. It was okay. Was she Frank Yeah, she was. It was pretty okay. I think it was all right. It, it, yeah. I think yeah, I think they they sang all the songs to, as they were as they were. Let's see. You know, another charm that we haven't gotten, we haven't gotten the Swift Strike charm, which is surprising, given how far we are. Now we can unlock this door. Oh, get out of here. Keep forgetting that I can dash. Okay, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I remember people talking about the meatloaf again joke and how it's the same in the remake as the human girl eating isn't a part of the band meatloaf. Oh shit. Figure connected to a device. Examine closely. Oh damn, it was the witch. Nice. Now we can go check out the uh, love tower. Fill ourselves with love. It'll probably be faster to go up to. To go up to the train. Oh 
god. Stop! Oh yeah, I don't know if I told you guys I've been playing Metroid Dread as well. Uh, Temp just finished with it. He says that it's very, very good. Um, and I've started playing it. It seems pretty, pretty all right. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that, um, uh, it, and, and it's fine because it were it the game's built around it. But uh, there's no walking, like pretty. There's no walking animation unless you're using uh, your cloak. Uh, so Samus always runs everywhere really fast, and it makes the game feel extremely fast-paced, and it's very snappy. I, I enjoy the movement for the most part, but I kind of wish that there was a way that uh, if you didn't move the stick all the way to the right, that she doesn't just sprint in that direction. Let's go, let's go defeat the, I think is he's the collector. <laughs> I actually think there's quite a bit of grubs here. excited. Wait, did I? Okay, no, I haven't. First try collector, that would be great. Nice. Okay, that wasn't too hard. So extra. Grub, grub, grub. The collector. Ooh. Nice. This is what we needed. Where are the other grubs located? There's one in the Royal Waterways. Okay, there's quite a few, but that's not an issue. We we did a good job finding the uh, finding most of them. I like the sounds the grubs make. They are very good grubs. Okay, I guess that's gonna be our mission for now. Just get get all the grub grubbies. We can go check out the one that's in Kingdom's Edge. Although I'm not sure how to get to it exactly. You've never played a Metroid game? I just saw that. Damn, they're pretty okay. I, I, I say pretty okay. They're one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite franchises ever. Um. There's a uh, both Castlevania and Metroid are my favorite genre or some of my favorite genres, hence why I really enjoy the Metroidvania genre. <laughs>
which this game is. This game is a Metroidvania. So if you uh, ever want to get into Metroid, um, it plays very not. It plays somewhat similar to the, like the game flow to Hollow Knight, where you just uh, you unlock abilities that let you access different areas of the map. Um, Metroid typically has maps that are like this that are really big. Never played Castlevania either. <laughs> Yeah, the Hollow Knight would not be the game that it is without Metroid or Castlevania. It kind of uses it uses a lot of the a lot of the aspects of both. Oh, there's a grub down there too. Oh god. They're all Rivetvania games to me. <laughs> okay, I, I found it already. I find it! Give me the grub. Give him to me! Rescued. All right. Oop. And then I'm hoping that that other one at the end of this sequence over here. Let's hope that it's some secret room all the way back here. Oh god. practice dummy maybe it unlocks the grub when I defeat the things that pop out of over here not. How the fuck do I get to that grub then? Is it possibly? Let's see. Forgotten Kingdom. Kingdom's Edge. In the area above Nailmaster Oro, there's an alcove to the right. Let's see here.
So in the area above Nailmaster Oro, there's an alcove to the right. Beat the enemies, then hop on the right side of the spike pit. What? Left from the hut where you meet Nailmaster, you will find a hidden room with breakable floor at the end of it. Breakable floor in one of these rooms. Let's see. <laughs> Show me the grubs. Looking in the tower love sub area. Okay, that tears tells us where the Tower of Love one is. Okay, cool. This grub is located in Kingdom's Edge on the eastern side, just above the hut where the player finds Nail Master. We've already gotten that one. What the shit? So it looks like there is Hello? It looks like that it's located right here I'm not seeing any sort of breakable anything. Weird. But there is a room that is connected either... Trying to find the one that's in Kingdom. It's why is it? Why did they make this so hard to find? It's like they completely skip it over. Um, Kingdom's Edge Grub. Um, 
Let's see, maybe it'll tell me here. Nope, it does not. <laughs> Come on! No, it's not that one. Hey, see you later, Tiger Storm. I guess... There's supposed to be a hole... Oh, yep. <laughs> Found it! This should give us, this should be the last grub that we need to get over here. Oh fuck. What? What were you reading? over here. Let's head on up. I think we'll just start at the Forgotten Crossroads. Alright. So we'll head down, grab the grubs in the Forgotten uh, Crossroads, and then we'll just walk around from there. I'm guessing that the pale ore that we're missing is definitely is definitely due to us not having enough grubs. <laughs> okay, where's this where's this grub boy at? Oh, duh. <laughs> Simple platforming ones, that's fine. I imagine these are the ones that we just forgot to come back and get. something up here that we haven't gotten to. What's this? Interesting. I've never been in this area before.
Hey, how's it going, War 2? Nice to see you. Long time no see. Oh, get out of here. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Get out of here. Gotta be it. Hello. Oh, that, that's terrifying. Glowing womb. I don't want a glowing womb. It's going well. It's been really been quite some time. I've changed quite a bit since then. That's nice. Yeah, that's that's how I feel like all the time. As each passing year goes by, I'm just like, damn. I'm really not the same person I was two years ago. Or even like a year ago. Time Change happens quick. It really do. Or it can happen quick, that is. <laughs> Sometimes change takes forever. Oh boy. So there's a grub all the way on the left. that noise Hello Interesting Oh hey Oh yeah where we fight the dream version of that boss. I forgot. I became a furry two months ago. Nice. We love to see it. I follow quite a bit of few, uh, quite, quite a bit of cool furries on Twitter. Casey Explosion is definitely one of them. She's great. Some of the nicest people ever. And I'm glad you figured it out for yourself. Oh, this this way is blocked, so damn, I'm gonna have to go down and around. Bring it around town, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bring it around town. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Get out of here. I also figured out that I'm asexual and gay. The furry community really helped with that. Yeah. That that that'll do it. Okay, so I'm guessing Oh man. We can't even go down down. We got to go all the way around. So I feel like over the last two months I alone, I have really found myself and I am bloody happy about it. That's that's great. Really awesome. For sure. That's how it felt when I uh, when I came out and just just in general over the past couple years, uh, becoming more of an anarchist, I guess. It's really felt like I'm a lot more confident and uh, feel a lot more myself, I suppose. But yeah, that's really good. Looks like that we can get all the way. I, I really wish that I didn't have to go all the way around.
Anyway, what's the game you're playing about? Uh, this is Hollow Knight. It's, uh, if you haven't heard of it, it's like a side-scrolling, um, if you ever played Metroid or Castlevania, um, it's very similar play structure. It's just a side-scrolling 2D RPG about a little bug boy. And the entire game kind of takes place in, uh, in tiny bug worlds, and you fight all sorts of insects. Oh god. Leave me alone. Looks nice. It is a very, very good game. Wah! Let's see. Grub. Grub boy is over here, but I prefer RPGs myself. Oh yeah, RPGs are pretty nice. I, I do play quite a bit of those as well. Every once in a while I get super RPG'd out though. I think I I just finished Xenoblade Chronicles not that long ago and I tried to get into Final Fantasy, um, I think it's 11. I think I tried to get into Final Fantasy 11 shortly after that and I just couldn't stay, couldn't stay invested because I was just burnt out. But I do want to. I do want to keep playing it. It's it's very good, and there are quite a few RPGs that are going to be coming out soon that I want to. That I want to make sure I have the energy for. Shin Megami Tensei Five is coming out soon. I'm really excited for that. And then Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes are coming out too. So I'll be in Pokemon mode for sure. What other grubs we got? Green Path. Yeah, let's go up to Green Path. It looks like there was a there's a thing up here that we haven't been able to access yet. I think I won't be playing Skyrim for quite some time now. I've been on a seven hour stream just now, and when I saw it, when, when and I saw you were on. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been Skyrimed out for a long time. <laughs> I enjoy uh, the other, I, I, I think I'm going to spend some time enjoying the other Elder Scrolls games for a while. Uh, I think I, play, I streamed Morrowind uh, last year, and I think I might do a stream of Oblivion here soon as well. But in the end, Skyrim is always there, waiting, yeah. Yeah, I might I might play Skyrim once on stream because I, I've never actually finished finished the game, um, so I'll probably at some point at some point do it on stream, finish the game, play it through one more time, give it one one more good go. Um, I don't think Skyrim's a game that I want to play. I think I only have one more. I have one more Skyrim. One more Skyrim playthrough in me for the rest of my life, and then I'm done with Skyrim. I don't think I can handle any more Skyrim. I can handle Morrowind for the edge of an, until eternity, and Oblivion is fine. I love the goofiness about it, but Skyrim's a little too, a little too much <coughs> work and investment for too much boredom. If if you you ask my opinion, and I used to play a lot of Skyrim back in the day. <laughs> I've probably put in like 300 hours. But yeah, uh, I I do want to play Oblivion, and I would get all the DLC for sure. I own the I own the Elder Scrolls. They came out back in like 2013. They came out with an Elder Scrolls. Uh, what would you call it? What would you call it? Collection. It was an Elder Scrolls collection, and it had all the Elder Scrolls games up until Skyrim with all the DLC and shit. Um, I still have that, and I still have the Oblivion disc, I think. So. I'll definitely do that if I can, um, and and I'll definitely throw in some mods as well. Uh, Oblivion is is something that I think I would have a lot of fun with on the stream. Morrowind was a little bit more serious and a little bit more uh, technical, but Oblivion's a good chance to, to just goof around. Was there nothing over here? Was this just a... 
huge waste of my time. There's gotta be something over here that... It couldn't have just been that one Geo Rock, could it? Hey, when you get to the Shivering Isles DLC in Oblivion, tell me whether you favor Dementia or Mania. I feel like I've always just kind of... I, I like Dement... or, uh... I, I, think I, I think I chose Dementia. I can't remember. Oh, here we are. I think this is a boss that... Yeah, this is a boss that I never... That I never got to. Easy peasy. Dimension's the dark swampy side and Manny's the color, colorful autumn forest one. I don't know, I'd have to play it through again, but... Oh, hey, there's that other mask, I think. Nope, that's only the third, third piece. Well, there we go. We got we got a free mask piece out of, out of that. Um, we were on the way to Green Path. That's what we were doing. I think I'd probably like the colorful Autumn Forest one now, but back in the day, I definitely probably liked Dementia more. I also kind of want to play The Witcher 3. I was just thinking the other day, I was like, damn, I, I really miss The Witcher. I think I played it all the way through to, uh, like, one of the islands that you get to. Uh, I, I don't think, I don't even think I finished half of The Witcher 3, so, um, I think that would be cool to stream too, especially since I, I already have experience with it, so I wouldn't be too, too upset with playing it on stream. It would kind of convince me to finish it. I needed to go to Green Path. Why did I climb all the way up here? Dementia is superior if you ask me. To hell with the Oreo, I go with Maskin. Okay, let's see. Green Path. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Grub. We only got one grub in this area to grab. Grub, grib, grab. Yep. Though the forests are nice, I need madness or for my heavy armor, so I have to scout the dungeon. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what... I, I might go with the mage, honestly the next time I play it. Mage is one of the classes that I've always avoided. Um, and I, I, I've always been the rogue type, but uh, now that I've been feeling more experimental and uh, getting bored of the whole, all the rogue stereotypes, um, I'm, I might go with, go with the mage this time around. Speaking of old games, um, I've been playing Arx Fatalis. I don't know if you, if any of you have heard me uh, gushing about it on my on my Twitter timeline, but uh, Arx Fatalis is really really good. It gives me it's it was made in the same year as Morrowind, but it's a, a significantly uh, significantly more complex. And uh, I, I I wouldn't say complex. It's got better graphics right off the bat, and it feels a lot more focused and tightly wound. It's it's a, a it's an immersive sim, you know. It's made by Arcane Studios, so the people that made Dishonored and Deathloop and all that. Um, it was what it was actually their first game as a studio, I think. But um, it's very very good, and the sound design is top tier. It's it's like playing an ASMR video of a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> the entire game takes place underground, so it's just like got great cave sounds and like it's just awesome. It's it's awesome, and I love the way the 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 UI is very unintrusive with the play. 
play stuff, you don't go through a lot of menus in uh, Arx Fatalis, uh, which unlike Morrowind, Morrowind has a lot of like going in between the menu and stuff. If you go back and watch my Morrowind stream, I'm constantly moving between different menus. But uh, Arx Fatalis makes it very, very immersive. Um, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, because I was just thinking, I was like, I don't want to play all the way through Morrowind again to get Morrowind vibes, so I might just play a different game from that time frame and see how that works out for me. Let's see. Where to next? Where to next? It looks like there is a grub. Downward. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed right now. I'm very tired, and I thought I'd stop by and say hi. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Wurtsu. Have a good night. And have a good start to your weekend. Whoop. right over. I love that we don't even have to worry about this water. This area would have been was so annoying before I was able to just soak soak in the in the juices, the acid juice. All right, where's this grub? Where's this grub? Right above me. All right. Oh, this one's a pain in the ass. I remember. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> it took me a couple t tries uh, the last time that I tried to do that. Now I have to figure out how to get to get the fuck back. God damn it! God damn it! How the fuck? How do I get out of here? There's no way that I'm stuck up here. Okay. So there's that grub. There's a grub down in Deep Nest that we can go to. And then there's one in the fungal waste that we can hit on the way back up. I guess our best course of action is to head downward.
damn it. I wonder when we'll find that last soul frag or a uh, soul vessel fragment. God fucking damn it. Okay. We can platform. So, down to deepest? I don't think... Yeah, we'd have to go about the same distance. We might as well. Please don't, please don't let this be a pain in the ass. Why'd she bite you? <laughs> Amazing. Our cats are, are angsty. They hate, they think it's cool to hate their parents. Even a grub. Just looking out for my grub pals. See that grub over there? That's my homie. That grub's like a brother to me. There's that handsome boy. Come here, you muffin. Okay, where are we going? Uh, up to the fungal wastes. Uh... 
I did not go the right way. <laughs> now that I'm thinking of it. Okay, uh... We gotta climb back up. Unfortunately. Easy peasy. And then the nearest way to get to the grub is gonna be to go uppies. Nobody asked you for your opinion! Shit. Wait, are you telling me that I can't go up there? Ah, diggity damn. I guess I'm gonna have to go up through the Mantis Lords. Looks like there is an area that we haven't explored that we can... Well, I get the feeling it's going to be something that we have to drop down from, but... Get over there! Alright, we're getting somewhere. Looks like this is a place that we dropped down from. He's trying to do business work. Bebo's got a full schedule next week. Smart, literate boy. <laughs> Bebo has a college degree. He even looked at me like, 
a college degree in in Bebo in. If only your cat could absorb the information you're studying while you're studying and they're in your lap. <laughs> okay, come on. I need to, I need my grub. I'm lucky I'm I'm glad that all these grubs are relatively easy to easy to figure out. Why couldn't I get over here to this one? Okay. Where is our next grubbo? Royal Waterways? Looks like our fastest way to get there would be to go to King Station. Making relatively short work of the remaining grubs. I think we only have one, two, three, four. We have four left. <coughs> two of which are in the royal waterways, it looks like. So I think getting that last grub will be a nice way to um, wrap up this wrap up this whole thing. Oh God, it's wet! <coughs> All right, how to access this one that's directly below us? Well, it looks like that's probably in it's since it's not showing up on this map it's in probably in the waterways First scrub is pretty nearby. But how are we gonna get to it? Do we have to come in from Kingdom's Edge? I think maybe we do. That would fucking suck. Um... I guess we'll head down. Get out of here. Isma. Isma balls. So I guess we'll go around through the ancient basin. <coughs> oh, fuck. Me 
Come on. Bebo. Bebo really needs attention right now. He is big baby. Look at this boy. What are you doing? Oh, yes. Very handsome. Very good. Okay, so we need to go over to Kingdom's Edge. What do you have to say for yourself, people? Do you have a message for our audience? You have done. Do you have a message? Meow. Oh, I thought he was moving towards the microphone to say something. No, he's not like that. <laughs> okay, so our entrance to the royal waterways is up above. You need no. Stop it looking off this plate for some reason, even though that plate hasn't had food on it in forever. Bebo, what are you doing? You're crazy! This should lead us to the grub grubbo. Oh, yep, there he is. Next one is just just down the way. Make our way up. I kind of underestimate how fast we can move once we have our full arsenal of movement abilities. <laughs> this really is kind of like the, the victory lap. Of Hollow Knight. All right, how am I gonna find this crap? Let's see. I can't tell if he's above or below. Yeah, sounds like he's below. Nice. Okay, that means two more to go. One in Crystal Peak. One in the... Um, 
One in Crystal Peak and one in the the, the resting grounds. Hey, Bebo, you smell musty. Musty boy. I guess we'll head to Crystal Peak first. And then we'll drop down to the resting grounds. should be relatively simple to get to, and then we can drop down. Fuck. the last grub and then we can go and get our reward from the gr grub daddy. Grub dad. Looks like our last grub is over yonder. I'm not sure. It's probably down here, but I'm not not sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus! What's this? Soul Eater? I've never gotten that one before. Forgotten Shaman Artifact used to draw soul from still living creatures. Greatly increases the amount of soul gain when striking an enemy with a nail. Ooh, okay. Okay, but where's my grub? Oh, Jesus. Nah, you can't get me. Alright, we got them all. At least I think. 
double check, but I'm pretty sure we've gotten all of them. Yeah, we should be good. Let's go. Let's go find the Grub Father, and then we'll go upgrade our nail, and then we will call it a night, um, and we will prepare for a long day of fighting Radiance tomorrow. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> we got them all. Yep, there's our pale ore. <laughs> They're so happy. God, we're so rich. What's a bug to do with all this geo? Is that grubber fly? Yeah, it is. So, grubber fly's elegy. Let's look, take a look. Contains the gratitude of grubs who will move to the next stage of their lives, imbues weapons with a holy strength. When the bear is at full health, they will fire beams of white hot... Oh, yep. That's the thing that, uh... It lets us shoot a laser from our sword. Um, let's go upgrade our sword. And then we'll, we'll call it. I also kind of want to get Swift Strike. I think that would be helpful as well. Oh, hey. Rubber flying, rubber flying. We'll just go ahead and head on over to the city store rooms. I really think I I feel pretty 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 prepared for for radiance honestly, um, which is better than than I usually feel about it. So so we'll see. I'm I'm hoping I can find a good strategy. I don't think this is where I wanted to go down at, but. Returned. I see you have some pale ore, a rare fine metal that. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. Here we go. As you wish. Good. 
Garadel it's done. Akari. The reforging is done. Your nail is much stronger than it used to be, as strong as it could ever be. If only your weapon have I seen such in only your weapon have I seen such potential. Finally I behold the majesty of a pure nail. To think this moment has come upon me so soon. I I must step outside a moment. There he go. Yeah, we do we got it. I love the design of the perfect nail, honestly. It's very, very good. Ah, run Pure Nail stand, Forge, yeah. my work in this lifetime comes to an end. My only remaining desire is to see and feel the nail strike true. I beg you, cut me down. As my final moment in life, I want to taste the blade's exquisite edge. After all this time, all this toil, haven't I earned it? I'm gonna let him, I'll, I'll let him be. I don't wanna, I don't wanna smack him, I feel too bad. Okay, well that's, that's it for tonight. Um, tomorrow... We'll probably try to track down the Grim Troop, but for the most part, we're probably going to be just fighting, um, just fighting Radiance. Um, we can always do the Grim Troop afterwards. By the, the the final boss of the Grim Troop is about the same difficulty, if not more, than Radiance. So we'll probably just try and beat her first, and then um, we'll go from there, go on to the DLCs after that. Um, hopefully we can do it in one stream. I mean, we'll have three hours to defeat Radiance, so, um, it took me three hours to get through, or four hours to get through the Path of Pain. So, um, I imagine it can't be that difficult, right? Okay, um, we're gonna find another streamer to, um, to raid before I, before I head off. Um, so, bear with me. I, I thank you so much for all of you guys that have been here um let's see see who we can find here whoopty scoopty boopty doopty 